Hi friends! I was looking through your exit tickets from last week and I thought to myself, you know what? This is a little tricky. I think that we could use a review on understanding parentheses. So we're going to spend today going over the problems on the exit ticket. We'll start with question number one. Sammy and Sayana are having a discussion. Sammy says that seven plus three times four equals 40. Sayana disagrees. She thinks that seven plus three times four equals 19. Explain how both scholars could be right. Now, when I looked at your exit tickets, I saw that a lot of friends were trying to prove that Sammy was right or were trying to prove that Sayana was right. But the question says, explain how both scholars could be right. So we want to make sure that we explain how both of them could be right. We're not being asked to prove that one was right and one was wrong. Okay, so the first step to this question was understanding what it was asking you to do. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out the different equations that Sammy and Sayana, or rather the different answers that Sammy and Sayana came up with. And I'm going to think about what we learned about in our lesson. So seven plus three times four. That's the same equation for both Sammy and Sayana. But what would make it different? We'll call this Sammy's. We'll call this Sayana. What would make these equations different? Adding parentheses, adding parentheses, right? Parentheses are just like a roadmap or a set of directions. They tell us what to do first. So I could put parentheses around any two numbers in this equation. Here I see there are three numbers in this equation. I'm going to pick two to put the parentheses around just to test it out. Okay. So if I put parentheses around this, seven plus three, and then parentheses tell me what to do first. So I do seven plus three first. Seven plus three is 10. And then I multiply 10 times four, and I get 40. Okay, so I know that if I put the parentheses around seven plus three, that Sammy could be right. Seven plus three times four could equal 40. But that doesn't mean Sayana's wrong. What if we put parentheses somewhere else? Like, hmm, well I can't put parentheses around seven and four because the three is in the middle, right? And then I'd be putting the parentheses around three numbers and I can only put it around Okay, so I'm going to try putting them around three times four. And we'll see what that gives us. Remember, the parentheses tell us what to do first, right? They tell us what to do first. So this time I'm going to do three times four first. So seven plus, what's three times four? Hmm, three, six, nine, twelve. And seven plus twelve equals nineteen. Whoops, <laughs> there we go. So, wait a minute, it looks like Sayana could be right too. If we put the parentheses around three times four instead of seven times three. So in this equation, we see why we have parentheses in the first place. Because depending on where you start in an equation that has multiple numbers in it, you might get a different answer, right? So the parentheses tell us where to go first, and what to do first, okay? So that is how they both could be right. So in order to get that question right, you either had to explain that out in words or you had to show the work to prove that they both could be right, okay? 
Make sure you read the questions very carefully. Let's go on to question number two. For question number two, I'm going to do it in the drawing here so that you can see a little bit easier. Okay. So Carlos has been planting flowers. On the first day, he planted three rows of flowers with four flowers in each row. The next day, he planted the same number of flowers he planted on the first day. So another three rows with four flowers in each. Which expression represents the total number of flowers planted in Carlos's garden? Right? These are all expressions down here. I even gave you a hint here. I said, find the total number of flowers in the garden first, then solve each of the equations or expressions in the answer choices to see if it matched the total that we found at first. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to follow my hint. So find the total number of flowers in the garden first. Well, this looks like an array to me. And I know that there are a couple of ways I can find the total um, of an array. One of the ways is I could count up all the flowers, but a faster, more, I'm in almost fourth grade kind of way would be to use multiplication, right? So I could multiply rows times columns. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six rows times one, two, three, four, columns. What's 6 times 4? 6, 12, 18, 24. Okay, so I know that I'm looking for an equation down here that matches 24, right? So now I'm going to follow my hint. I'm going to solve each of these expressions down here to see if it matches 24. Okay, two times three times four. Hmm, I don't have any parentheses here, so I don't really have any direction on where to start. So I guess I'll just start at the beginning. Two times three is six, and then six times four, right? I already multiplied these numbers and I got six. Six times four equals Oh yeah, it's the same up here, 24. Huh, seems like that first answer could be working out for me. But good mathematicians never stop at the first answer. They always test out all the answers just to make sure. Okay, the next one says 2 plus 3 plus 4. All right, we're taking it back to kindergarten here. 2 plus 3 is 5. And then... 5 plus the 4 is 9. Mm, that doesn't look like it matches 24. What about 2 plus 3 times 4? Oh, okay, I have some parentheses here. So I know that parentheses tell me where to go first. So instead of adding 2 plus 3 first, I'm going to do 3 times 4 first. So 2 plus, and then what did, what did I get here? 3 times 4. I know that's 12. And 2 plus 12 equals 14. Mm, that's not 24. Let's keep going. I'm going to put some spaces in between here so that you guys can see the difference between the equations. There we go. Okay, last one. Lots of parentheses here. 2 times 3 plus 2 times 4. Okay, so in this one, I have two sets of parentheses. How do I know which one to go to first? Well, I just go to the first set in my equation. Okay, so I'll solve there first. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 times 4 is... 8 and 6 plus 8 is 
14 again. Hmm, not 24. So it's looking like, if I go back to my question, which expression represents the total number of flowers planted in Carlos's garden? He said the total number of flowers was 24. And this first expression happened to match the total number of flowers. So that was the correct answer. All right, friends, now that we've gone over these two problems together, first of all, if you have any more questions about this, please either reach out to your teacher or come to math office hours on Wednesday from 1130 to 1215. You can access the link on your Google Classroom. Also, to let your teacher know that you have finished watching this video for today, that will be your only assignment. You're not going to have any independent practice or exit ticket like that. So to let your teacher know that you have finished watching this video, you are going to go back to the assignment for today on Google Classroom. You're going to press view assignment. And then because today is the uh, C for cooking day in our A to Z countdown until the last day of school, I would like you to comment a private comment to your teacher of what kind of food you like to cook the most. So once you're done watching this video, to let your teacher know that you are finished watching the video and you spent the time to do it, you're gonna type in your favorite food that you like to cook. So for example, if I was done watching the video and I wanted to show my teacher that I had completed my assignment for today, I would type in the word pasta because that's my favorite food to cook. And I would press this button, which would send the comment. And then I would just push mark as done. But you writing that favorite food that you like to cook is going to show your teacher that you spent the time to watch this video and that you are awesome. Have a great day, friends. I'll see you soon.